Tonight, investigators believe they know what caused that scary explosion on the Mass Pike. Fortunately, all of the passengers on board that bus did make it off safely. But I-Team reporter Ryan Kath spent the day digging into the company's safety records to see if there were any signs of trouble here. A day after this bolt bus burst into flames on the Mass Pike, the carrier's noon departure to New York City was sold out. You can't be scared, like, with those kinds of things. It's just life. It happens. Brooke Carabas booked her trip after hearing about the fire, but still didn't hesitate to reserve a seat. The fire doesn't make me nervous because the bus will be more safe moving forward, I think. I think bolt bus will double check the mechanics. That's my opinion. An hour later in a Newton tow lot, state investigators got an up-close look at the charred bus. They determined the fire started because of a mechanical problem in the engine, and an explosion later blew out the bus windows from the buildup of hot gases, not because of any hazardous material carried by the 46 passengers who narrowly escaped. People were just pushing and shoving and screaming, but we couldn't get off the bus any faster. The safety of low-cost carriers like Bolt Bus has been a focus for federal regulators in the past few years. In 2013, the I-Team was the first to report Feng Hua had to pull its entire fleet off the roads to correct a long list of violations. However, Bolt Bus is owned by transportation giant Greyhound, which has a strong safety report card according to federal records. The I-Team found Greyhound's entire fleet has an overall satisfactory rating and no serious violations in the past two years. Back at South Station, one business traveler told us he'll always take his odds riding a bus. That's the most common way Americans travel is by automobile, and it's the most dangerous form of travel. Buses are relatively safe. That's why I'm here. Earlier in the trip to Boston, the bus actually pulled over at a travel center in Connecticut for mechanical work. Federal investigators will definitely be taking a closer look at what happened during that stop. Meantime, a Greyhound spokesperson told me the company is also investigating the bus's maintenance history. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.